Edo period Japanese artists concentrated upon their love and respect of nature and their desire to improve upon it. They captured a unique and simplistic beauty by eliminating most that was not necessary. Scrolls were constantly changed throughout each home and had to roll up for storage. Therefore, paint had to be very thin and usually transparent. Brush strokes could not cross one another, lest it leave a darker spot. The painting was as delicate as the talent of the artist permitted. His skill became the prime ingredient of this art. The ribs of this clam were not sketched. They were each drawn with one single stroke of the brush, without guides and without the chance to correct. The skill to execute such an artistic tour de force is almost beyond imagination. This egret and willow painting reaches perfection in a softer, more delicate way. Look at the spaces between the leaves. Notice how the unpainted shapes seem to dance in the light breeze. The pure white egret was not painted over the willow. On close inspection, the shading and illusion of depth is provided by the color of the untouched silk peeking through. Since white paint was not readily available at the time, artists relied again upon their skill to create illusions of color. In this painting, other than the whiskers, there is no use of white paint on this tiger. The white hair of the fur is just the color of the silk. It is, in a sense, a negative painting. in crows in snow. Other than the round drops representing snowflakes, there is also only black ink on this entire work. The unpainted color of the paper alone gives the illusion of piles of snow while also producing the shapes and tones to the animals and trees. In sunlight, most people believe this amazing screen is composed of empty spaces. Look though at what happens when the screen is seen in shadows and then in deeper shadows. The entire screen becomes immersed in mist. There is very little paper that has not been touched by shadows. <laughs> 